Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty in chapter twenty one. Chapter twenty one is about electric charge and electric field. So later we have this system. Two parallel circular rings of radius r, right, have their center on the x axis, and the distance between this this two parallel circular ring is l. So this half is l over two. This half is l over two. And tell us if each ring carry a uniform distributed charge Q, we need to find the electric field at points along the x-axis. So it looks like we need to find electric field at this x-axis. So we consider this one, this point is at the location x, right? So the distance between the center and this position is x. Do you agree? Yes. Um, at the initial, it looks very difficult, but you can remember what we learned in our classroom. The test book is example 9 in our test book. We solved the electric field for the circular ring. The radius is A, right? And then we find the electric field for this ring is just only at x direction. The magnitude equals to this one. Agree? Now, can you use this one to solve this question? Yes. So, in this way, we can say first one, we look at the right ring. The right ring, we just copy it, copy this example answer at there. We can see it pointing to the positive directions. So, this is I component, right? Now it's magnitude. We can see for this one, for in this question, this A is the radius for the ring. So this time is R. So there we replace A with R. Now next question, you can see the R in our example in this one is the center of the ring to this location P, right? And now you can see we need to find the position is this one. So I change your color. So we need to find the position is this P. And now the distance between the center of the ring to this position. What's the what's the distance? X plus L over two. Agree? So it looks like we need to use X plus L over two to replace this X to replace this x because this x tells the center of the ring to the location this one the distance between the center of the ring to the location is this one agree yes now we need to find the electric field for the left ring for the left ring, of course, it will pointing to the negative x direction. So there is a negative psi and a negative i. And also, we look at this part. We can see the a is just a radius for this ring in the example. Now there, we change it to r. Right? And also, you can see the distance between the center of the ring with the position we interested. Is this part a great the distance? And this distance is use L over 2 minus x because this part is L over 2 and minus x, so we get the distance from the center of the left ring with the location. So we write it, write it as x minus L over 2, right? Yes. Now we add these two vectors together, we get addition for these two vectors, find the electric field as the position x. So you input these two terms inside, get the final answer. Thank you.